Hey everyone, welcome back. It's uh, Operation Hindenburg. We are in the summer of 1912 and it's France's turn. Uh, so we're just going to do some rolling to get to get it uh, going here. Uh, going for tech, I've got two uh, major factories. So the blue one is going to be uh, defense in depth and the green one is going to be Hmm, um, wartime economy. <laughs> I was thinking that I'd gotten them, but then I, would, I was screwing up the rolls when I was watching my video back yesterday. So it was a long day. But anyway, here we go. Uh, both got to be a seven. Blue ones, defense in depth. Got them both. Thank goodness. So let me just go mark those. Wartime economy, defense in depth. Both of them at stage one. And I, uh, it's a little bit out of turn, but I'm just going to roll this other thing too. Uh, this is uh, the, the Italian recruitment roll. Um, yesterday I, I said that uh, on my last turn that I had nine territories, but I actually had 10. I forgot to count the one that I had just taken. So anyway, uh, it, it doesn't matter because I'd rolled a 12 anyway, but here we go. I need, I need a 10 or less. Five. Okay, so they get the recruitment. Anyway, let's go and do the moves now. Uh, so, let's just see here. Let's set that down right there. Okay, that's good right there. Um, so, uh, the Navy that is in M4 is going to move to M7. I have no attacks, by the way. Uh, not this, not the transport though. Um, just those, uh, the pre-dread, the uh, cruiser, and the torpedo boat, and also the two coastal subs that are in M6 are also going to move to M7. The transport is going to go back to um, M3, and they'll go. They'll go in port at the port in, uh, where are we here? I'm just looking around. Oh, there's that ship I was looking for. Yeah, they're going to go in the port in northern uh, Italy. And also, I have a torpedo boat in M5. He's going to come around and he's going to join that transport in port. And then that recruitment role. Uh, oh, before I do, I've just got uh, these guys down here. So I'm going to move two infantry and an artillery back to Tripletania and leave two infantry in Serenica. And we will place that guy that we got um, in northern Italy. That's from the recruitment role. So we're back up to two infantry in northern Italy. And uh, you can see down here, these guys have been spread out. Two infantry and an artillery and two infantry and the Italian Navy there. The French forces, of course, didn't move. Um, a quick note here. So that last um, random event that we had on this turn, uh, we had we did have some discussion behind the scenes there because um, I had uh, put an infantry over here but there was no manpower icon but so, uh, the like through our discussions we came to an, uh, an agreement because like if you if you didn't ignore the manpower um, and the placement restrictions then the uh, the Ottomans just simply couldn't have placed any units in Africa because they have no supply path. We could have moved the other units that we were placing around, but we couldn't have moved those ones around. So logic dictates that uh, we'd have to ignore the, the um, placement restrictions in placing those units that we did. And so I did make a note in the errata for that. Um, anyway, that's it. So that's the end of my turn. And... Uh, who's next? The Ottoman Empire. That would be Dawson. So good luck, Dawson.